Y'all ready for some preaching? Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. We're going to be talking about living in perfect peace tonight, and we're going to be talking about living in the peace of God tonight. How do we live in God's peace tonight, and how do we obtain God's peace tonight? It's very simple. Let's turn in our Bibles, or it'll be on the screen to the book of Isaiah, chapter 26 and verse 3. Now, praise God. Now it's on. Amen. Praise God. Chapter 26, verse 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Who's he talking about there? Who is the Lord going to keep hold tonight? The man whose mind is stayed on thee. Who is the man who's going to live in perfect peace tonight? The man, the, the man whose mind has stayed on thee. Is your mind on God tonight? Is your mind on the Savior tonight? Is your mind on Jesus tonight? Are you so busy trying to control everything that your life is so, so filled with worry, your, fight, your life is so filled with anxiety, and everything in your life seems to be confusing all the time? And seeing God is the last thing on your mind tonight, we have to make Him number one in our life tonight. If we want to be whole in our body tonight, if we want to live in perfect peace tonight, we're going to have to keep Jesus on our mind tonight. You cannot worry about what the world's doing tonight and live in peace tonight, folks. If you watch what the world's doing tonight, you're going to live in a bunch of confusion tonight. Your life is always going to be down in the dumps tonight. Your life is always going to be full of gloom and doom tonight. We must keep our mind on Jesus tonight. You can't think about your past mistakes tonight, folks. Keep your mind on Jesus tonight. You can't think about how you missed the mark today or yesterday. Keep your mind on Jesus tonight. You can't sit around and worry about where you come up short. Keep your mind on Jesus tonight and, he, and he's going to keep you in perfect peace. If you see a man who, who has their mind stayed on Jesus, it's because they trusted him. And when you're trusting him like you're supposed to trust him, then, then, then he will be on your mind at all times. Listen, and the promise that we get with that is the peace of God, which is the most important thing that we, can, that we need in our life tonight in order to live a happy life, in order to live a fulfilled life. Listen. His peace in our life is only going to come when we keep our mind stayed on Him. Uh, rest in our mind is only going to come when we keep our mind stayed on Him. You cannot sit here and worry about what your gossip uh, people talking about you. You can't sit here and worry about what they're saying up at the cafe about you. You can't sit here and worry about uh, 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 your finances tonight. Keep your mind on Jesus and He's going to keep you in perfect peace tonight. Somebody say amen today. Amen. Come on, we get ready to get this word tonight now. See, we always got to be thinking about the word of God tonight. We always got to be uh, meditating on the word of God tonight. And we always got to be thinking about the word 24-7 tonight. You got to keep Jesus on your mind at all times tonight. Because see, when he, when you got Jesus on your mind tonight, you're going to live in perfect peace tonight. See, when your trust is in God and your mind is stayed on Him, you can expect peace in every area of your life. There won't be nothing broken. There won't be nothing missing. But you can be whole in every area of your life tonight. You, Hallelujah. Listen to me. When Jesus comes in and you're thinking about Him 24-7, you're going to have, you're going to be whole in every area of your life tonight. Even when things are going haywire. Even when you're facing the possible situations, even when you're facing things that you don't want to uh, 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 look like what Tommy was talking about today. He can still live in perfect peace tonight because, see, he said you know, his mind stayed on Jesus and it don't matter what's going on in his life tonight, he can have perfect peace tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. It don't matter. Maybe you got some kind of sickness tonight. Maybe you got some kind of addiction tonight. Maybe your family's acting crazy. Maybe you came home today and your husband was acting uh, talking crazy or your wife was talking crazy. Maybe when you got home today and your kids wasn't at home, they weren't where they were supposed to be. They was out doing drugs. They was out doing crazy stuff they ain't supposed to be doing. But you, for you, you can keep your mind on perfect peace. Now, you can have your mind in perfect peace tonight when you keep your mind stayed on Jesus. Yeah. We're not worried about everything else, but keep your mind stayed on the Lord tonight and you can operate in perfect peace. Right. See, your mindset is I'm relying on Jesus. I'm dependent on Jesus. I'm leaning on Jesus. Yes. Because I trust in Jesus. Therefore, see, you, you can conquer anything that comes your way, and you can conquer your mind. Do you know the hardest thing for us to overcome tonight is our mind? Do you understand that the, the, the mind is the battlefield? Do you understand when you go in love with Jesus, and you meditate on this word, that
that the devil's going to throw something in your mind to try to get you off that word. He's going to throw something in your mind to try to get something to attach to your spirit so you can't live in perfect peace. But if you'll just believe the word and you'll stand on the word tonight and you'll walk in the word tonight and you'll believe Jesus tonight and you'll just know that Jesus has got your back tonight and you keep your mind on him tonight, you're going to have perfect peace in your life. And it don't matter what's coming your way. It don't matter what's happening tonight. You're going to be in peace tonight. And you're going to walk around. Hallelujah. With solid peace in your life. And there ain't nothing going to bother you tonight. See, listen to me. If my mind is stayed on Jesus, those bad thoughts in my mind, see, they got to flee. When my mind is stayed on Jesus, those bad habits that haunt me, they got to flee. When my mind is stayed on Jesus, all these people talking and gossiping about me, all them has got to flee. Listen to me. I'm telling you right now, you can conquer the things that's right in front of you when your mind is stayed on Jesus. Amen. But if you ain't got your mind on Jesus tonight, you ain't going to conquer nothing. See, they can't just hallelujah. When your mind is stayed on Jesus, you can't be defeated. When your mind is stayed on Jesus, you can't stay depressed. When your mind is stayed on Jesus, they can't nothing stop you. When your mind is stayed on Jesus, they can't nothing keep you down. Because, see, you got your mind stayed on Him, and now you're living in perfect peace. You're living the Word of God. You're allowing God to be your Savior. You're allowing God to be your keeper. You're allowing God to control your mind. And now every time something comes up to your mind, the Word of God is a hallelujah up in there, and it's capturing everything that comes through. See, the devil can throw a thought at you. The devil can bring something through your mind. And see, if you got the Word of God and you've been meditating on what God's Word and your mind has stayed on me, that Word is going to capture that thought that the devil throws through there and that Word is going to overcome that thought. But when your mind ain't stayed on Him, see, that thought's going to come through your mind and then you're going to start meditating on that thought. And then the next thing you know, you're going to be down at the bar. The next thing you know, you're going to be laying in the bed with, uh, with somebody you ain't supposed to be in the bed with. The next thing you know, you're going to be uh, down at the crack house hitting the crack pot. I'm just, I'm just being honest, folks. You want to know how to get your mind right tonight. Get your mind on Jesus tonight. And when these thoughts come in your mind, you're going to be able to conquer these things. You cannot conquer the world tonight. And you can't conquer the, conquer the things that are right in front of you tonight, folks. See, you have to know that nothing can stand up to the Word of God. You have to know that Jesus... Jesus is stronger than anything that you ever face. And if you don't have no peace, you can't conquer tonight, folks. But if you're, if you're doing things that you know is wrong tonight, if you're doing things that you are purposely disobedient to God tonight, then the peace of God ain't going to be with you tonight. See, we always try to conquer these big things in our life. And we won't even deal with the small things that's right in front of us. See, when you learn to be faithful in the small things is when your strength is going to rise up inside of you and you're going to, you're going to be able to conquer anything that comes your way. And see, you, and, and, and the big things that come up in your life, you're going to be able to overtake the big things. Why? Because now you've taken care of the small things. You're making sure the small things ain't stealing your joy no more. It, the Bible says it's the small foxes that spoil the vine. You want to know what that verse means? I've been doing a lot of study on that verse this week. And see, it's the small things that's coming in and stealing the fruit before it has time to mature. Now we'll read the word and we'll, 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 we'll do the Bible study and we'll come to church but see we ain't taking care of the small things in our life. We always focusing on the big things in our life and we're not taking care of the small things in our life and see these small things are coming in and stealing the fruit that God's trying to put in our life before the fruit has time to mature. That's what that verse means right there. It's the small boxes that's pulled the vine. These little furry creatures stick into the vineyard and they stick the fruit while it's flowering, they steal the fruit before it has to mature, and it's the same thing with the small things in your life. It, I, I don't care what it is, I don't care how small it is. If God is telling you to deal with it, you need to deal with it because, see, it's stealing the fruit that is trying to mature in your life. Listen to me, we have to have the mindset that we're going to conquer that bad attitude. We got to have the mindset that we're going to conquer that mouth that is saying all kinds of stupid stuff and getting us in trouble. We got to have the attitude that we're going to conquer our anger problem. We got to have the attitude that we're going to conquer our drug problem. We got to have the attitude that we're going to conquer our wondering eye. We got to have the attitude that we're going to conquer telling lies to everybody. Quit lying to everybody. Why don't you just tell the truth? See, that's a, the reason you ain't telling the truth tonight is because your mind ain't stayed on him tonight. Hallelujah. Listen. 
to me. But when we do these things, when we start conquering these small things, when we start standing up to these small things, before long, you'll be overcoming every problem that you face. And that you, 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 hallelujah, I'm going to take it a step further. You'll be overcoming sickness. You'll be, over, be overcoming disease. You'll be overcoming financial problems. And before long, that family member, you thought they ain't no way they'll ever get saved. They're going to come to you and they're going to say, what is going on in your life? Because I see you've got some kind of power in your life. I see you're starting to win in life. I see you're starting to get above in life. I see that you're starting to be the head and not the tail in life. Listen, and you're blessed. And I can see your life is blessed coming in. And I can see your life is blessed going out. And what it does, it draws the loss to you. It draws the family members that's unsaved to you. And the next thing you know, you're causing these family members to get saved. See, we can't even conquer the small things in our life. Conquer that, conquer that extra sweet you eat right before you go to bed at night. <laughs> Amen. Conquer that bowl of ice cream. Conquer that cigarette. Conquer that foul mouth. Conquer that chewing tobacco. Why don't you start conquering some small things? We just can't keep saying, well, I just keep getting fatter and fatter. And see, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, see, you, you, when are you going to conquer that bowl of ice cream? How in the world you can't even overcome a bowl of ice cream? How are you going to con conquer that major thing in your life? How are you going to conquer that addiction in your life? How are you going to conquer these uh, big things in your life when you can't even overcome a bowl of ice cream? Come on, somebody. Somebody say amen. 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 See, but when you start conquering the small things in your life, you're going to be able to take on the big things in your life that is destroying you. Don't you understand that, that, that Satan is out to destroy you? That Satan came to kill, to steal, and destroy? But Jesus said, I came to give you life. And life more abundant. But the only way you're going to get this abundant life is start conquering these small things. Amen. Start conquering these things that's coming in your life. Keep your mind stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah. See, we have to start with the small things and be faithful to the, these small things. Then it will give you confidence to tackle the large issues in your life. See, before you know it, you're going to become a dominator. And you're going to say, well, I ain't never been a dominator. Well, I'm telling you right now, you can be a dominator for God tonight when you keep your mind stayed on Him. The reason you ain't dominating life tonight is because your mind ain't stayed on Him. See, when you become a dominator, you're going to quit letting stuff that don't even matter uh, uh, control you. And listen to me tonight, folks. And instead, you're, you're now going to start renewing your mind in the Word of God, and you're going to become a dominating force for the kingdom of God. In other words, instead of being a dominator, dominating force for the world instead of being a dominating force for the devil. Now you're going to be a dominating force for God. Hallelujah. Listen to me tonight. And now you're going to be effective in the kingdom of God. And now you're going to start whooping the devil. Now you're going to start wearing the devil out. Now you're going to start putting him up under your feet. You're going to start telling him to get behind you. And you're going to quit getting run over by every little thing that comes your way. Don't you know you got the power of God in your life? Don't you know that you got the Amen. Praise God. Amen. 17 and 5 and verse 6. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and make a flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. For he shall be like the, uh, the heath in the desert, and he shall not see good when he comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land not inhabited. Listen, it said, cursed is the man that trusted the man. When you put your trust in man, you're going to be cursed. When you don't put your trust in God, you're going to be cursed. Cursed means, to, it, the, the word curse means to be empowered to fail. It seems like no matter what you do, you just keep failing in life. It don't matter what you come up against. It seems like you just keep failing in life. It's all because you refuse to walk in the blessings. See, when you put your trust in frail man, when you put your trust in, in, in human flesh, and see, and you are going to fail at everything you do. You're going to be just like a naked man in the desert. You know, you know what a naked man in the desert, he's going to get burned up out there in that desert. It's just going to be trying like from planting a shrub out in the desert. See, when you plant a shrub out in the desert, it will be in a destitute place. And that shrub or that naked man will never see anything good. It will be like living in a dry, parched land where there's nothing 
nothing to water it with. There's nothing to nourish it with. That's what happens when we put our trust in man. Now I can give you a testimony about something I went through recently where I put my trust in a man. And guess what? I was empowered to fail. I failed in it because, see, I trusted a man instead of trusting God. I let somebody sell me a dream. I let the devil come in and sell me some kind of idea. And I failed in that idea because I didn't see God. I trusted that man. And see, if I would have trusted God, I wouldn't have been out in that dry parts land. I would have been in a land of milk and honey. I would have been in a land where there was abundance. But instead, I failed. Why? Because I put my trust in that man. I put my trust in frail man instead of putting my trust in God. Hallelujah. Listen to me. See, it's all because you refuse to walk in the blessing. It's all because you refuse to do it God's way. It's all because you, you, you refuse to walk in His perfect plan for your life. Everything we do, we end up failing in life because, see, you're operating under the curse and we're trying to do it under our own ability. We try to figure this life out in our ability, in our mind. In other words, you're not keeping your mind stayed on Jesus. See, you're keeping your mind stayed on your flesh. You're keeping your mind stayed on your wants. You're keeping your mind stayed on your desires. You're keeping your mind stayed on your addictions. You're keeping your mind stayed on what you want. And you ain't seeking God for nothing. See, you're trying to trust in your own ability. You're trying to trust in your own wisdom. And you're going to fail every time you do that. You're not going to prosper when you're trusted in man. You've got to trust in God tonight. Amen? Amen. Amen. See, listen to me. See, what, what, what we're doing is... Excuse me for a minute. Hmm. What we're doing is we will start something else just to fail again and again. Because, see, we refuse to trust in the Lord. We're still trusting in man. Listen to me. See, curse means to be, to be empowered to fail. You would never exceed in doing it your in doing it. You will never exceed in doing it your way. Because, see, your way is cursed. And when you are operating under the curse, you will be empowered to fail at everything you do. See, when your trust is more in man than it is in God, you're going to be empowered to fail. When your trust is more, more in your job than it is in God, you're going to be empowered to fail. When your trust is more in the government than it is God, you're going to be empowered to fail. When your trust is more in, in uh, uh, the system more than it is in God, then you're going to be empowered to fail. Let's go, let's go, go down to verse 7 and 8. Now we're going to find out what it means to be blessed. Amen? Amen. 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 That's why we can't get nothing done today, folks. Because we won't trust God. We want to trust what we think. We want to trust our way. We want to trust somebody else. Amen? Amen? But we need to be trusting God. Verse 7 says, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. But he shall be like a tree that is planted by the waters, that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Listen to me tonight. Blessed means empowered to have success, or it's working out, or everything's going smooth, or you're operating like a well-oiled machine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, you've got to trust in God tonight. When you're trusting in God, see, the blessing will be on your life, and everything you touch will succeed, because, see, you are now operating in the blessing. Now you're believing, you're believing in God. You're trusting in God. You're relying on God. And now you have hope. And when you have hope, it turns into confidence. And when you get confidence in God, you're going to be blessed in everything you do. See, you done made a decision. I'm not going to trust a man's way. I'm not going to do it the world's way. I'm not going to do what I hear on the news. I'm not going to trust in what I read in the newspaper. I'm not going to trust in frail man. I'm not going to trust in humanistic uh, view. I'm trusting in God. And see, I have a blessing on my life and my whole life is going to be the sum total of Genesis 128 which it says that we're supposed to be fruitful. We're supposed to multiply. We're supposed to subdue the earth. Listen to me tonight, folks. And we're supposed to fill the earth. And see, and, and everything you come in contact with, when you're operating under the blessing, when your mind is stayed on Jesus, when you've got your mind on the Lord, when the Lord is the number one thing in your life, everything you come in contact with, you're going to have dominion over everything and see, you will be blessed in everything you do. And it's all because that you decided to trust in God. It's all, it's all, it's all because you decided to lay your plan down and pick up God's plan in your yeah. life. Listen to me tonight. See, I have I, I'm going to be like a tree that's planted by the, or by the river. By the waters of the river. Why? Because, see, I trust in God. See, I'm going to draw nutrients. 
from the living water. And this right here is the living water tonight, folks. I'm going to draw nutrients out of the Word of God because my trust is in God tonight. I ain't trusting in nothing I see. I ain't trusting in nothing nobody tells me. The only thing I'm going to trust in tonight is the Word of God. The Word of God says, let God be true and every man a liar. Anything that ain't in this Word right here is a lie. Anything anybody tells you you can't find this Word is a lie tonight, folks. And see, when you're walking in the blessing and you got the blessing on your life, your life is going to be producing luscious fruit. I, I mean fruit that is tasteful. And it, it, and it will draw the lost to it because, see, the supernatural will be taking over. And when everything, and when everything in the world is dead, see, I'm going to be alive. When everything in the world is dying, I'm going to be thriving. When everything in the world is going down, I'm going to be going up. Why? Because my trust is in God. I don't trust in myself. And I don't trust in you tonight, but I trust in God tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see, God is a Listen to me tonight. See, my life is still going to be working right. Amen? Listen, all because we empower to succeed. Because of the blessing. See, the blessing means you're empowered to succeed. The curse means you've been empowered to fail. When you trust in man, you're going to fail. But when you trust in the Lord, you're going to succeed in everything you do. It's all because we decided to trust in God that we're blessed tonight. It's all because we decided to keep our minds stayed on me that we're blessed tonight. And now his promises are coming to fruition in our life. Go to Psalms 112. Somebody say amen to that. I don't care if y'all like it or not. That's good preaching right there. Amen. 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 This right here is the profile of a righteous man. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord and delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. And his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there arises light and darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man shows favor and lends. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he see his desires upon his enemies. He hath dispersed. He had given to the poor. His righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and fell away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. This right here is a profile of a righteous man. If you want to know what a righteous man is, you get in Psalms 112 and you read this every day. See, we've read this over and over, but we ain't never nailed it down. Why, or why were they able to live this way? See, the man who makes a decision to keep his mind stayed on Jesus will be blessed. The man who makes a decision to keep his mind on Jesus will be happy. The man who, who makes a decision to keep his mind on Jesus will be fortunate. He will be envied. He will be envied by the world. See, the world will look at you and say, I know how much money you make. I know where I know where you work at. How can you afford all them things? How can you be blessed like you being blessed? It's because we decided to trust in the, uh, in the Lord. See, his house will be filled with treasure. His house will be filled with prosperity. His house will be filled with welfare. Yeah. And every path that he walks down, he'll have the light of the Lord on that path. Yeah. And he'll know exactly which way to go because the Lord will be lighting that man's path. Listen to me. It's all because he is trusted in the Lord. This man right here will be a gracious man. He will be a compassionate man. And he will be a just man because he is in right standing with God. You see, he will be in a position to lend and not to borrow. It. See, he will be generous and he will conduct all of his affairs with justice. In other words, he ain't going to be a liar. You can trust what this man says. If you know a righteous man, you can trust what he says. If you know a man who's got his mind stayed on Jesus, you can trust everything he says. See, he will, this man, this kind of man right here will not be moved and he will not be afraid of evil tidings. He won't be afraid when evil gets around him because, see, he's got his trust in the Lord. His heart is established. His heart is steady because it is firmly fixed. It is firmly trusted. It is firmly leaning. It is being confident in God. This is the man right here who has his mind stayed on Jesus. 
Listen to me tonight, folks. You have to delight in God's commandments tonight. You can't just do them, but you've got to delight in them. You have to bring yourself to a position where you love doing it God's way. You've got to bring yourself in a position where you're going to listen to God no matter what's going on in your life and why you're doing it God's commandments, why you're doing God's word. Say so you're going to get a joy and you're going to get a pleasure and you're going to get happiness that you decided to do it God's way. See, the man who is trusting in the Lord, listen to me tonight, is going to be a blessed man. He's going to be empowered to succeed in everything he does. But a man who trusts in himself is going to be empowered to fail. He is going to be living under the curse. And everything he does, he's going to fail in. He can start new idea after new idea after new idea. And he's going to fail in every one of them. Why? Because he, he is living under the curse. But we're talking about a man who is living under the blessing tonight. He is firmly planted by the river of God's word. And God is keeping him in everything he does. And he produces good fruit. Even when the times of drought come. Even when the recessions hit this world. Even when it looks like that, that, that everything's going down in this world. Even when the stock market drops 500 points. Even when the, you get a bad report from the doctor. Even when your kids are running wild acting stupid. Listen to me. Even, even the even when your relationships ain't working out, this man is going to still be blessed. Why? Because he put his trust in the Lord. See, he, he believes in God's word, and he and he has the blessing on his life, and he's been empowered to succeed. His mind is solely fixed on Jesus, and he has peace no matter what he's facing tonight, folks. Amen. Has your mind stayed on the Lord tonight? Have you got your mind firmly fixed on Jesus tonight? Are you leaning on Jesus tonight? Are you trusting in Jesus tonight? Amen. Are you depending on God tonight? Amen. Are you still depending on your ways better than God's ways? Amen. Listen, folks, we at a crossroads right now. Amen. Right now tonight, everybody in here. And we got to make a decision tonight. Do you want to be blessed tonight? Or do you want to be cursed tonight? It's as simple as that. Right. God said the choice is up to you. He said he ain't going to choose for you. He said it's your choice. How are you going to live tonight? If you want to be blessed tonight, get your mind on Jesus. Amen. If you want to be blessed tonight, make Jesus the number one priority in your life. Amen. If you want to be blessed tonight, make sure Jesus comes number one in everything you do. The Bible says in Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things will be yes. added to you. What are all these things? The desires of your heart. What is the desires of your heart? Only you can answer that tonight. But see, when you seek Jesus first to make Him number one in your life, when your mind is firmly planted on Him, when your heart is fixed on Jesus Christ, and your mind is stayed on Jesus Christ, you're going to live in perfect peace. I don't care what you're going through tonight, folks. I don't care what you're dealing with tonight. You can have perfect peace. How do you do it? Get your mind stayed on Jesus tonight. See, but many of us want to approach Him with doubt and unbelief tonight. See, but we have to pursue Him with genuine faith. Confidence in God is so crucial for the Christian tonight. God delivers those who trust in Him. When they trust in Him and keep their mind on Him, they are empowered to prosper. And then the blessing will be in their life. Yes. Listen to me tonight, folks. What are you dealing with tonight? Can you come up here and play softly? What are you dealing with tonight? What are you going through tonight? What are you facing tomorrow? What are you facing next week? What are you facing next month? Are you troubled over tonight? Is your mind all, all confused tonight? Are you running haywire in your mind tonight? Listen, you can be in perfect peace tonight. Only thing you got to do tonight is make a decision that God, I'm going to keep my mind stayed on thee. Ask yourself, examine yourself. Is your mind stayed on Jesus tonight? Or are you still trying to work it out under your own power? 